Okay, so just uh, let's do these products. And uh, what I have here is uh, 0 0.7899, let's see, okay, times uh, 23.985045. And this one gives me on, uh, on my calculator, it's in scientific notation times 10 to the 1, that means this is actually 18.94. Now, I don't need to write all of this out, um, but what I do have, um, this will be 5787. Let's uh, see how much of this do I really need, right? Well, when I do this, I really only have four significant figures here. So, four significant figures will be there. This part, I, I don't really even need to include more than one extra digit, um, but I'll include at least one more digit to, uh, to make sure I don't have any, uh, any rounding errors, okay? But I'm just gonna do this to remind myself that that's only four significant figures, all right? Now here, uh, we have a subtraction, um, and so what's gonna happen this is a distributive property. I'm going to have um, 0 0.2101 times 24.985839. And um, that's the first product there, which gives me um, times 10 to the zero. So it's the same, 5.2495. Okay, 5.2495, again, four significant figures. I go with the one with the fewest. So there's my four, and I'll keep the five just to eliminate rounding errors, all right? Um, so the other part of that, um, I did the first one. Now it's just negative x times that uh, that value there, and so I'm going to have 24.985839 times x, okay? And then here I have plus 25.982595x equals 24.3050, okay? So let me go ahead and combine those terms, because they're both x terms. So um, I have here, uh, this is a negative, so I'm going to start with the 25.982595 minus the 24.985839, and I get times 10 to the minus 1, so that's 0.996756, okay? Um, 0.996756, okay? Um, but that's times x. All right. And uh, what I have here, I have two, two numbers that I calculated there. I need to add those um, together because that was a positive. So 18.94 plus 5.24. And uh, what I can do on my calculator is um, it has the feature where I can recall previous answers. Answer one refers to um, the immediate answer, answer two, answer three. So I'm gonna take answer three plus, oops, plus answer um, two. Okay, keep my parentheses in. And when I do that, I have times 10 to the one, so that'll be 24.1953. And, and that way, um, when I use the answer um, function in the calculator, I don't have to retype in all those numbers and then it, it'll include everything. And so I'm sure I don't have any rounding errors. Two point, or rather 21, 24.1953, okay? 
24.1953. Um, and my significant figures for this number, here I, I'm adding, so I go with the fewest number, not of significant figures, but of decimal places. They're both for de significant figures, but here I have three decimal places, there I have two. So in the end, I'm going to round this um, or I'm going to remember that I only have two decimal places that are significant in that number. Okay. So now um, this boils down to 24.1953 plus 0.996756x equals 24.3050. Okay. So we're almost there. Uh, let me subtract both sides. Uh, subtract this uh, let me do it down here. There, 24.1953 from both sides minus 24.1953. So what I end up with here is um, I have 24.3050 um, and uh, that's minus 24.1953. And I get terms 10 to the negative 1, so that's 0 0.1097. Okay. All right. So this part has dropped out, and let's not forget my significant figures. Two decimal places I'm subtracting again. So here I was subtracting that with two decimal places. So I'm going to carry out two decimal places in my result. All right. And now I'm going to divide both sides by that 0.996756. Divide this by 0.996756. And at last, um, 0.756. Okay. So, um, and again here, Using the answer, it makes it handy. So I get times 10 to the minus 1, so 0 0.11006. Okay, so x equals 0 0.11006. How many um, significant figures? Well, I have a bunch of them here that I'm dividing by, um, but I only have two there. So, um, so really, I can only say to two decimal places um, what that value for x is. Okay, so x is 0 0.11, which um, if I convert that to a percentage, this would be 11%, um, which means I would have 10% uh, up here. Okay. Um, again, considering the fact that this is uh, zero decimal places, um, I would round this to 79, and that'll leave me with uh, 79, and this will be bring it up to 90, so the 10% will uh, be what remains of this isotope. Okay? So, um, a lot of algebra here, but... Um, this is, is how you would set up these types of problems where you're given the abundance of one of the isotopes and you want to find the abundance of the others. Um, or one in particular, you just let that one be the x. Okay, So just don't forget to um, divide that by 100 so you're doing everything in, in fractional um, form, in the form of decimals, um, and that will save the... Um, a little bit of effort in the calculation. Okay?